There, that fixes it. Just paint the tools white like Jimmy DeResta or green or some other color. That was the most common suggestion from my last video, but uh, I don't want to do that. It would just be too much of a spiteful thing to do and it would be making a statement on its own. Lots of people blame DeWalt for uh, my not so good sponsorship experience. It was my own mistakes. I mean, some people say it's like, okay, uh, now you blame DeWalt. I wasn't blaming DeWalt and even if it was their fault, I wasn't actually even dealing with DeWalt directly. I was dealing with an ads agency because they always hire that sort of thing out. It's not their thing to deal with individual YouTubers. Maybe just too much liability or just too many people to deal with and their thing is making and selling tools and dealing with uh, umpteen different YouTubers. They just don't want to do that directly. And if you watch any of Jimmy DeResta's recent videos, certainly any that are shot in his big warehouse shop, you'll notice he uses DeWalt tools, which are prominently DeWalt tools and not painted. And I think during the round of sponsorship that I also was part of, um, he must have somehow made up with them because I see him use DeWalt tools quite prominently, nothing painted. But even before this whole thing, I have to some extent been avoiding DeWalt tools um, because I don't like promoting particular brands and such and the yellow of these tools is just such a strong brand that uh, it's very obvious that they're DeWalt tools. So I actually prefer tools that have no real brand at all. I bought this at a uh, surplus store for $40. And I use that quite a lot and it says great neck on there. That is actually a brand, but uh, you'd have a hard time trying to find a drill like that. So it's not providing any useful advertisement. Main problem with this drill is it's only one speed and then the speed control is a bit jerky. It goes up to 50% and then it goes straight to 100%. So then I think in 2014, I decided to buy a two speed small drill. And I was originally going to buy the DeWalt, but again, the yellow was just too strong a branding for me. So I ended up buying this one, which cost me about one and a half times as much as a DeWalt of similar specs. Which I kind of felt silly at that, but I figured at least this way, it's not as strong a branding. Or at least it wasn't a brand that I would have recognized without looking at the logo. Of course, as soon as I use it in the video, the first comment was, So you like your new Hitachi drill? So, uh, well, that didn't work out. Um, so I like this sort of stuff, these hacked up drills, because they're really no brand at all. I don't even know what brand this drill was. This is clearly a very old Makita drill. You can't get anything like that with a Ryobi battery pack, so uh, that's a rather mixed brand. And then I bought this from uh, online from China, and this one cost about a third as much as this one. It was actually, it was only 25 US dollars, but by the time I got my hands on it, shipping and duties and whatnot, it ended up costing me nearly twice as much in Canadian dollars. And it's a cheap drill. It's two speeds. And for my purposes, actually, it does quite well. And once again, I don't recognize this brand. So it's a nice looking drill and it's not advertising any particular brand. But uh, back to my I lost money getting sponsored by DeWalt video. There's a lot of very negative comments on it, a lot of animosity towards DeWalt in the comments, which I didn't really intend that way. I wasn't really blaming DeWalt for it. It's just the whole sponsorship thing didn't work for me and it was just too much of a pain in the butt. Um, some animosity towards me again, because people perceive me as blaming DeWalt. And I do wonder, maybe people just like the whole animosity aspect when John Heist and I did some videos where I visited his shop and we're kind of ribbing each other, people really perceived there to be a lot of animosity that wasn't really there. We were just teasing each other. Maybe, maybe people just like animosity and the title for that video would suggest it maybe. Maybe that's why reality TV shows always kind of try to cause and play up the animosity. It's rather unfortunate. I guess that's what sells. Maybe that's why the video's done so well is because people perceive animosity in it. It's up to a quarter million views by now. Oh yeah, and uh, another very common suggestion is I should just go on Patreon, which I'm kind of reluctant to do because I still do okay selling plans. Not nearly as well as I used to, but I still do okay. And it just feels kind of wrong asking for a handout when I'm doing okay. I will do Patreon if everything else goes south 
I think at this point, my integrity would have much less damage going on Patreon than taking sponsorships. But while the plans are still selling okay, I'll just stick with that and leave Patreon to people who need it more.